Hi everyone, back in the kitchen again today and tonight I'm going to show you how we do our fake away Nando's chicken with our version of spicy rice. So uh, stick with us, this is how we go. Okay, so for the chicken we've got uh, 600 grams of chicken fillets. You can use whatever chicken you want, whether you want to use thighs, breast meat, cut up, whatever, whatever your favourite is. Tonight we've got the mini fillets. We're using Nando's Peri Peri um, marinade. That one's mango and lime. And because I like the hotter one, I've got the the, uh, the hot marinade. Now these are the proper Nando's ones. We can get it from any supermarket. Earlier today I put two tablespoonfuls of the marinade in with half the chicken in that Ziploc bag and two tablespoons of the marinade in with the other half the chicken in that bag and they've been in the fridge now for ooh, a good four hours you can leave them overnight if you want to marinate and they'll get all the flavours in yeah for those of you doing Slimming World um, the marinades they work out at one sin per tablespoon and as I said earlier there's two tablespoons in each bag so that will give you uh, two sins per, per, per portion of cooked chicken when it's cooked and that will be the only sins in the meal. Okay that's the chicken now on the baking tray the hot stuff on that side and the mild stuff on that side you can tell them quite easily by the colour so no chance of mixing them up so they're now going to go into the oven and they'll cook in there on 180 for about half an hour until they're cooked through so meanwhile I'll get on with the rice okay for the spicy rice I, as you can see there I've already prepared some chopped red peppers chopped green peppers chopped onion and for a bit of variety I've put some chopped mushroom in this time as well so that's all going to go in the rice when I start cooking that up in there I've got the spices I need ready for the recipe that's half a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of paprika and a quarter teaspoon of chilli powder you can add a bit more if you like but I wouldn't put more than say half a teaspoon in there especially if you're using the hot stuff okay so I've got the pan on the stove I'm going to spray some uh, fry light in there stop things sticking and then I'm going to just chuck in there the peppers, the onions and the mushrooms. They're all going in. Okay. And then I'm going to chuck in the spices I measured out. I'm going to Fry them for a few minutes until they just start to soften. So we'll give them a, a stir and uh, let them sizzle away for a few minutes until they, uh, as they start to soften up. Okay, that's uh, browning nicely now. And sizzling away quite nicely. So I'm now going to put in there. 400 grams of rice which I weighed out earlier and give that a good stir straight away you see the rice there starts to take on the colour of the uh, turmeric and uh, mixing quite nicely and I'm now going to add to that a litre of vegetable stock, which I've already prepared here. There we go. That's uh, all going in there. And finally to the mix, we're going to have a chicken stock pot. 
got a nice depth of flavour. And then we're going to bring that to the boil and simmer it for about 15 minutes. The instructions are normally on the packet of rice, so this particular rice says 14 to 16 minutes. So we're going to simmer that for about uh, 16 minutes. So I'll try it again. We're going to simmer that for about 15 minutes or until it's absorbed, or the rice has absorbed all of the water. So we'll come back to you then. Okay, so uh, we're about five minutes from the end of the rice cooking. See that's uh, soaking the water up nicely there. So I'm just going to chuck in 75 grams of frozen peas. I'm going to give them a stir around. Add a bit more colour to the rice. And that should be ready in about five minutes. So pop the lid back on. Okay, the rice has now absorbed all the water. So you can see it's looking rather nice. Uh, while the rice was cooking, I've uh, chopped a bowl of salad up because that's quite nice to uh, accompany with it. And uh, also, you'll see now the chicken. Oh, excuse me, all the steam. The chicken is nicely cooked, so we'll get that out of the oven and we'll plate it all. Okay, so there we have it all plated up. That's our, or mine, that's our Nando's fake away, or semi fake away since we used proper Nando's herbs and spices. Spicy chicken, Nando's chicken with spicy rice. If you want to put the uh, Nando's Perinés on for the Slimming World guys out there, that comes in at two sins per portion. So be careful with that, but of course that is optional. So there you go. Okay, so until next time, it's goodbye from me. I don't want my own tonight, so bye folks, catch you later.